Are you fond of eating raw fish like sushi, sashimi, and carpaccio? Well, you wouldn't for long. There has been a worldwide epidemic caused by a parasitic infection called Dipylobotiasis, which is acquired by eating raw fish infected with parasite. An unfortunate woman from Manila, Philippines has acquired this parasite by consuming some raw fish and is now experiencing symptoms like diarrhea, constipation, fatigue, and vomit. Reporting to you live from Manila, Philippines, here is Chloe Caramel. Good afternoon, Mrs. Alias. As of now, how are you feeling? Well, as of last week, I've been feeling out of the weather. I've been having nausea, vomiting, constipation, diarrhea, which caused me to lose weight. And it's pretty alarming these days. Okay, thank you for your time and information that you have given us, Mrs. Alias. Hopefully, this will serve as an eye-opener for the people who love to eat raw fish. And back to you, Kims! Thank you, Miss Chloe. To further understand the disease, I will explain its life cycle, how it can have it, and how to prevent it. The life cycle of Dipylobotium latum starts when immature eggs are passed in the feces of an infected human. The eggs mature in water within three weeks and form oncospheres. Larvae called Coracidia hatch and get eaten by freshwater crustaceans such as copepod. After ingestion, Coracidia develop into prosercoid larvae. If the copepod is eaten by a small fish, the prosercoid larvae penetrate the gut and migrate to muscle tissue where they develop into pleurosercoid larvae, the infective stage for humans. Usually, a third intermediate host is needed because humans do not usually eat raw fish this small. If a trout, walleye pike, or perch eats the smaller fish, the pleurosercoid larvae once again penetrate the gut and migrate to fish flesh. If a human eats the infected fish raw or undercooked, the pleurosercoid larvae develop into adults in the small intestine. The adults attach to the intestinal mucosa with two shallow bilateral grooves of their scolex. The scolex is 3 mm long and 1 mm wide. The long flat body consists of segments, proglottids, that are produced by the neck. Full grown proglottids are about 10 mm wide and 3 mm long. As proglottids mature, they release eggs and eventually break off from the body. Dipylobotium latum proglottid are passed in the feces unembryonated. From the start of the infection, it takes about 6 weeks for the eggs to appear in the feces. One adult tapeworm can shed up to a million eggs per day. It can grow over 10 meters long and live up to 20 years. People who eat raw fish are at risk of getting infected with the larvae that are sometimes present in the fish flesh. Some fishermen eat their catches raw using salt to kill parasites. Salting the fish is usually not enough to kill larval Dipylobostium latum. To prevent infection, cook fish properly. If you eat sashimi or sushi, freeze it first at negative 10 degrees Celsius or below for 2 days to kill the tapeworm larvae. Do not defecate in water, for example, rivers, lakes, etc. If the fish tapeworm larvae cannot get in touch with the intermediate hosts, they cannot infect humans. This is your reporter, Kimberly Pistacio. We hope you learned something from the news. Thank you and good night.